Both large-scale and nanoscale rockets rely on chemical fuels to achieve motion. Traditional rockets carry onboard fuel and oxidizer for reactions within the combustion chamber, and the hot exhaust provides thrust. Micro rockets harvest their fuels directly from the local environment at the narrow opening, which reacts along the inner cavity to produce bubbles that emerge out of the wider exterior opening for thrust. That's what you're seeing here, catalytic micro-rockets propelled by oxygen bubbles. How does it work? These micro-rockets draw in fuel from their surrounding medium through their smaller end for chemical reactions within their catalytic or reactive hollowed interior. These reactions produce gas bubbles, which nucleate and are ejected out of the larger end of the rocket. This bubble ejection is accompanied by a powerful thrust, which propels the rocket forward by a discrete step length. At high ejection frequencies, the motion becomes nearly continuous, as displayed in the magnetically guided movement of the multiple micro rockets shown. Other common catalytic micro and nano motors, such as spherical Janus particles and bimetallic nanorod swimmers, generate a local product gradient by breaking down similar chemical fuels and creating a self diffusio or electrophoretic flux to achieve directed motion. However, this phoretic propulsion efficiency is significantly weaker than that observed during the thrust based bubble recoil propulsion mechanism at equivalent fuel levels, only reaching relative peak speeds of 70 body lengths compared to 1400 body lengths for MNRs. Furthermore, micro engines that catalyze the bubble thrust reaction are highly reusable because none of the rocket components is consumed during the propulsion and can thus be easily recovered, such as through simple filtration or magnetic collection techniques. Other micro rockets based on reactive materials stop their motion once their reactive layer is completely dissolved. What is necessary for building one? A micro rocket must contain an inner catalytic or reactive surface around a hollow core to provide a favorable nucleation site for the thrust providing bubbles essential for giving these rockets their momentum. Such thrust, which is the force propelling the micro rocket, is the result of pressure exerted by the bubble ejection. This catalytic layer cannot be exposed to the exterior, so an outer, unreactive, stabilizing tubular shell must be included. Furthermore, the microengine must be mildly conical or asymmetric in shape to favor the fuel intake at the smaller opening and bubble ejection out of the other larger opening. MNRs offer impressive capabilities including remarkable speeds, large cargo towing forces, precise motion controls, and dynamic self-assembly which have paved the way for designing multifunctional and intelligent nanoscale machines. Here we see the motion control of micro rockets. First, trajectories of freely moving rockets. Then, guided micro rocket movement in a predefined micro channel network. Then, light controlled micro rocket motion. Then, ultrasound modulated motion. Then, reconfigurable shape controlling micro rocket motion. Then, thermally triggered micro rocket acceleration. Then, enhanced micro-rocket propulsion by PT nanoparticles, then finally, enhanced micro-rocket propulsion using a nanoporous rocket wall. And here we see receptor functionalized micro-rockets for selective isolation of targets. First, nucleic acid, then protein, then a cancer cell, then finally bacteria. And here we see examples of environmental applications of micro rockets. First, a micro rocket motor based accelerated oxidative detoxification of OP nerve agents. Then, a tubular FEPT bilayer micro engines for destroying organic contaminants based on the Fenton reaction. Then, wastewater mediated activation of micro motors for efficient water cleaning. Then, a micro-rocket-based mobile CO2 scrubbing platform.